Good day. This is a quick hit video on one of our projects in our class, and it's the video is going to be talking about how to generate specific types of data uh, regarding um, points selected and how to select those points. Now, I'm not going to give away the answer to the uh, actual question that's on our homework assignment, but I will do one that's similar so that way you can use this as a guide to solve that uh, question problem. So the question comes up, and this happens quite often, angle in an XY plane, or what is the XY positioning between two points, and how do we locate those exact points? Well, whether it's the angle in the XY plane, or XY position, uh, or distance covered, that's always the distance command. So we always use the distance command when it always asks for two points. Now how to select the two points is part of the key. And properly selecting the points in the order that they ask is also extremely important. So when we choose the distance command under measure, um, we can find, you know, it's a pretty simple, it's going to specify the first point. Well, we automatically, through our uh, setup process here on the on the bottom of the screen we set up different points that we've already object snap points that we've already utilized and so those object snap points that we've selected those automatically uh, are applied to the um, environment that we're working with you know so in this case endpoint center intersection extension uh, are already selected as uh, points that it will pop up with. But what if it asks for an option like a quadrant or you know like there's a quadrant here or a specific tangent location? Well how can we make that work with this distance command? So there is a second option associated with the, the use of the object snaps and that is a pop-up. If you hold your shift button on your keyboard down and press your right mouse button once, you'll get a temporary pop-up. And this temporary pop-up allows you to select one of the object snaps to use for the selection. So in this case we're going to go from a quadrant to a center. So we're going to pick the quadrant and we'll pick the upper quadrant of this arc and we'll go to the center point, shift right mouse button, to center of the circle. And now notice that I can pick either the center or I can highlight the edge of the circle and the center will appear. So I'll get a value here and it will give me an XY position. It will give me the angle uh, with that information. Um, and it will also show up here on the bottom in your text screen. So it'll tell you the distance, the angle in the XY plane is 315 degrees. Now why is it 315 and it shows up as 45? The direction that I selected the, uh, the points. If I would have picked them in the opposite direction, we'll do that here in a second, you'll see that the numbers, even though they'll show up the same, it shows up differently in the angle in the XY plane because of the direction that I picked. And the delta x, delta y, delta z, or the change in x, y, z. So the information, you know, is, is given and it's shown up also on the bottom and on the top. So now if we do this again, we'll do the distance command. This time I'll start with the shift right mouse button center and pick the center. And then shift right mouse button quadrant and pick the quadrant. Notice that we... Uh, we can't see the angle, but the angle shows up as 135 degrees as opposed to, um, oh, there's the angle, and then we've got the XY positioning. So again, information is down here at the bottom. Shift right mouse button does a temporary object snap pop-up for you to use. And that's the easiest way to get the uh, information accomplished. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.